2023 May 28th Sunday it is about going on to quarter past seven this is the top of 9th Avenue in Denewert and today we're going to Van Dalen's Peak that is pretty much the one straight ahead of us over there is, yeah um, it's a round trip way to get there going up here at the waterworks then at the railway line as usual we're going to the east and then from there a couple of twists and turns and bends and windings and then going up the hill again okay so close the gate behind us We go. Okay, quarter past seven. Here we are at the line, at the railway line, and it is nippy, quite fresh. Okay. So this is the usual this is the usual turn off to the right hand side. Um, when we go to Pepsi pools. But there's the waterworks reservoirs. For now we're just going to walk along the river line and then take a left turn off. Okay, it's about half past seven and here's a T-junction. I suppose we could have walked through the forest, but uh, we're taking a left over here. Uh, tire tracks, recent vehicle driven through here. What do we have? Tramatee's Versicolor. And we confirmed it because I tore it in half and it's white inside and it's got white paws underneath and then it's got these lines like a turkey tail. And it's a Tramatee. It's turkey tails, Tramatee's Versicolor. Ah, yeah. uh, excellent. Tramatee. All right. You can kind of pronounce the Latin how you want now. Oh. Yeah. How is it? Is it Latin? I suppose it is. Most of most of those names are Latin, yeah. Yeah. Because it's a dying language. Yeah. No one really talks it anymore. Yeah. Mm. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Yay! Excellent. That was a just go for it, or? Yeah. <laughs> I thought you will not make it. <laughs> and here's a bit of an uphill. I don't know. There's a bunch. Yeah, lots of them. It's eating off of this grass by the looks of it. Yeah. Cool. Hillbillies, cycle track, Chernobyl, going that away. And it is half past seven. A little way up, 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 up the uphill, up along the incline. Going on to 25 to 8. Here's a, a fork. And we're going to the left, up the mountain. Okay, here's the top railway line, and it's 22.8. 
here, about three kilometers from here, turns around and comes down. Wow. So that's the bottom one. Goes here, makes a horseshoe, and goes here, and then up over, and over the mountain to Otsuro. I was quite intrigued by it. the first time we moved here. I used to hear this train early in the morning at about four o'clock, five o'clock. Four o'clock in the morning. And I was always intrigued at how I'll get to hear it twice. Because I never, at that stage, before I even started walking, I never realized there's two railway lines here. It's well, well one line, but, but the top and the bottom, and, and it turns. turns back. So for okay. the first time I followed the line, <coughs> then I knew, okay, now I know what's going on. It turns around and comes back this way. Yeah. I used to be able to hear it clearly for at least half an hour, maybe even yeah. more. If one listen carefully, quite a nice sound, that locomotive, no more, it's just the power band now, oh, now it's better than nothing. Now and then there's one that comes through, not often, I've heard it again. There was one <coughs> ages ago, during COVID or after COVID or before yeah. COVID or something, uh, the flood, yeah. after, shortly after the flood, there was a train and I went to go and find them and I found them in the end. Um, and with its locomotive and all, bringing sleepers to replace some of the washed away sleepers on the railway line. It took and them the quite burnt a... ones, I suppose. Is and the burnt, the burnt ones, yeah. <laughs> and the burnt ones. <laughs> after the fire as well. So that was brought, that was done also by a truck normally, mm. sometimes. And then this bigger operation with a couple of vans pulled by the main locomotive. And I found them eventually followed the railway line all the way and then <coughs> found him that side. Quarter two on my watch. Here's the first view of town. And uh, here we go. I think there's Van Dalen's ahead of us as well. Shit, there's still a lot of lumber lots. <laughs> you look out that way. Yeah. There's Van Dalen's and the cave is just visible as the sun is rising on it right now. Yep, teleport. Lord have So um, I might try to zoom in. But I'm looking straight at it. Boom. Right there on the edge of the sunrise. On the, on the edge of the shadow and the sunrise meeting together. There's the Van Dalen's Peak Cave. All right. Okay, it's going on to 10 past 8 and uh, here's a fork in the road and Carl and Sheldon has gone to the right to inspect what might be inspected over there but uh, going to Van Dalen's is uh, this one to the left over here we're going to go ahead along and they'll probably catch up okay it's uh, 20 post 8 here's a split in the road and I think going to the left is going to Farankluf or also known as um, Tunnelbos Tunnelbush and this is the mud sign uh, Mountain Ultra Trail They've been running over the weekend. Um, you can look it up. Uh, there are different um, distances that can be run. Um, I think the longest one is 100 miles, 160 kilometers. And they run for, I don't know, a day or more to finish that distance. And it's all over the mountains. Going all over the peaks and behind the mountain, I don't know where it goes. It's it's a huge thing. Okay, uh, half past eight, and we're still here at the mud sign. But I've just realised that 
Okay, that goes to Farenkloof to Tunnelbos. This over here is where we're going, and then at these rocks, these rocks, apparently we're supposed to go along this footpath over here, which I would have missed completely because there is a clear path running this way. I would have just trudged along and gone in completely the wrong direction. I think this goes down to the George Dam. Those paths down there that I can see running along the hills. Down there and then circling around there. I think there, that's the path that you take to the George Dam. Alright, so here we go. Okay, it's going on to five to nine, and we've come to the top of this first little incline, and we're on the ridge, and it looks like you can go off to the left. The path isn't very clear, but it's actually not down to the left because that won't take you up to Van Dalens. Van Dalens is over there. We need to go to the right over here. and up that hill and down into that neck and then there I can see the path going up the hill over there and then it's flat across to Van Dalens. It's going on to 10 o'clock, 5 to 10. Apparently there's a baby sunbird somewhere in the bushes over here and the parent birds are quite upset. Oh here it is. It. Hello there. Hello there. There it goes. There it goes. You probably saw that. I hope you did. Bye little baby sunbird. Right, it's uh, just past half past ten, and we're on the top. There's Tikop, and that's wilderness and Swatfley and Sedgefield and possibly Nisna in the far distance. Great view, absolutely great view. There's Craddock Peak. Let's see if I can point it out. There's Craddock Peak. And that's George Peak. And then this is Van Dalens, Van Dalens Peak. And just over the ridge, we should be going down to the cave, I think.
Okay. Like a radio control one, I'm saying. I'm not going to launch a real plane. That would be quite intense. 25 to 11. And that's actually from Dolan's Peak over there. When we were standing down there, I saw that peak as that peak. Oh, no. I thought it's the same one. That's yeah, what I'm saying. That's George's yeah. peak. Yeah. That yeah. is now George's peak. Yeah, if you're in that's line down there, yeah. Yeah, when we were down there, this looks just like that. It does, eh? Quite. I thought that cave is like in there. I was talking in, how are we going to get there on time and get back? Yeah. That's not going to happen. And it's going on to 11. There's 11 and... Here's the turn off to Van Dalen's Peak Cave. There's the path across the hill. Over there and then to the left over here. Yes. There we go. Five past eleven, and there's the view from the cave. Okay, it's about 20 past 12, we're going down. Uh, this is a very steep angle. Very steep. Very steep angle. I wish I was here now busy recording down here. I'm going to ask the two of them if they want to maybe go down in this place. And I can also get a perspective yeah. of the... You, need, you, need, you actually need some people below you to get this angle because it's... I'm actually not sure whether the... Whether the video does it justice but this is quite steep i don't know exactly where to put my feet down so that i don't slip and this grass doesn't really help either yep 
Going on to 25 past 12. We're still pretty much at the same spot where I stopped my previous recording and I just want to get this bit of scrambling here. I want to get all the I want to get all the best bit of scrambling. And wait, I need to do something with this umbrella now. There we go. Let's see, how's that? <sighs> Grabbing onto some branches over there. And then, and then somebody rigged a rope here, which is quite useful. And then, don't get snagged on, on this bit over here. But then, lean in and, or lean back and, Slide down. Oop. There we go. And here we are. Get some. There's a nice bit handled. You can really hang on that. And here's another one. Here's another piece of rope. Let's see if it'll help. I'm trying to do this with three limbs only. Wait. Turn around like that, left hand grip there. Let's see, yeah, that's fine. Looks okay. Stepping back and sort of doing an abseil. Long stretch. Knee almost in, stuck in my ear. That's a tall step there. This seems to be a little bit better. Let's see how this goes. Ooh, where do we go? Not over the top of there, but around here, looks like. Yeah, here's the path. Yeah, this is a bit more manageable. Okay, so. Okay, a couple of paces down the way again. And here's a bit of scrambling as well. Let's see, where shall we go with this? Uh, I think it looks like some people have stepped down here. Here's, here's somebody stepped over there. And here. Right, so. And there we go. Okay, that was a risk. Half post, much much further along the way, and here's another rope. Okay, it is just past two o'clock and we are back at our starting point, top of 9th Avenue, Dinnerwood. And it's been seven hours since seven o'clock this morning. That was a good hike. Thanks guys. <laughs>